Hi everyone, today we're going to be making flatbread. Flatbread is such a versatile food and it's such a great snack and this is a pretty easy recipe. So I've already added one cup of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. And now I'm going to add one cup of, I'm using Greek yogurt. Any kind of yogurt will really work, but you don't want a flavored yogurt like vanilla or anything, it will taste weird. So I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, then I'm going to start mixing it up. And it's gonna kind of get crumbly. Keep the mixing process going. Until I really started to find a dough, then I'm just gonna have to get in here with my hands. And knead it. Knead it, just knead it. I think mine needs a little bit more flour, so I have a little um, bowl of flour here that I keep on hand whenever I'm making any kind of bread, just in case, in case I need a little more. I wiped off my hands. I put a little flour on my hands just so I could not necessarily stick to the dough and I could finish kneading it. Now I'm going to flour my surface a little. Spread it around. Roll that dough onto it. And now I basically want to cut that dough into six pieces. So I kind of make it into a ball like that. Kind of a longer one. And I have to turn it this way. And then three and six. Roughly the same size. Okay, so I've got my pieces cut into six pieces and I'm just gonna set some of them over here on the side. And I'm gonna start with one. I'm gonna flour my surface a little bit more. And I also like to get the flour on my hands a little bit, that way the dough doesn't stick. I'm gonna make six little nice rounded dough balls. Okay. I'm gonna set those onto a plate so I have a nice place to work. Spread out my flour, roll it around. I've got my trusty rolling pin. Put a little flour on that. This just prevents things from sticking. Then I'm gonna to try to roll this out into a round shape, which can be a little hard. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna to try to roll this into a circle, but if it's not a circle, that's okay. flatbread into a sort of circle shape. So my bread is rolled out into a kind of a circle. I've heated my pan up to about medium heat. I've melted some butter and added a little squirt of garlic into it and I'm ready to paint it on. So I'm gonna dip my little brush in there. I'm not gonna be afraid of butter. I love butter. Paint it all over the top of it. 
then whoop, this is going butter side. Wow, this is hard from behind the camera. Uh, is going into the pan. And I'm just gonna let it cook for about two to three minutes. Flip it over. You can see it really starts to puff up. That's the baking powder reacting with uh, water and heat to make the, form those air pockets in there. Again, remember we're not using any yeast in this bread, so we needed some other way to make it puff up a little bit. Oh, it's just lovely. I couldn't resist eating one while the other ones were cooking. It's so good. Mmm, look at the puff up. Yummy. So I've got the last two of my flatbreads going. I already ate one just to test it out to make sure it was delicious. Don't, don't flatten them. I know people tend to want to flatten things. Let them rise up and be puffy and delicious. Even though this is a flatbread, it's really good with all those gooey little air pockets in there. These look ready. So off they go. So I've just finished it with some salt and some herbs. I used basil, you can use parsley. Um, you can not use anything if you want. You could even finish them adding just like a little bit more of that garlic butter on if you wanted to. And then a little bit of salt. Oh, that could also be really delicious. And then you can serve this with dinner. You can make it as a snack. You can even have it for breakfast. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to uh, devour some of this flatbread now and have a great week.